It is an absolutely beautiful fall day here in central Vermont at Green Mountain National Forest. It's fall in Vermont's Green Mountains. Join me in this second and final episode as I'll take you on two incredible mountain hikes. We'll also visit a favorite food stop and the Green Mountain Sugar House. The lady upstairs said I could just walk in. How cool is that? Look at this, wow. We're in the Green Mountains, specifically the White Rocks District. So good morning, October 2nd, 2022. Our first trail is called the Ice Beds Trail. This is 1.6 miles out and back to the ice beds themselves. We'll tell you about that when we get there. And there's also an overlook at the midpoint of the trail. We'll get the drone up in the air, just double checked with a forest ranger and they are permitted at this location. So after a bunch of switchbacks, I think we've reached the overlook. Well, it's still a little cloudy, but yet quite impressive. So we are now off to the ice beds. It's about three quarters of a mile from that vista I just showed you. Um, this is a, a neat natural phenomena. Talk to a couple locals about what happens at this location. Check this out. You always wonder who found these places. I mean, we're walking through like this enchanted forest right here. Streams, ferns, a lot of granite, quartz, rocks, mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere. And, uh, we're heading toward sort of a boulder field right now, and I'm assuming that's where the ice rocks are located. But uh, what a find for the first guy that came across this location. So we are now at this tailless pile, which protects winter ice deep into the summer. Unfortunately, by October right now, it's all been melted. Sometimes it's nice just to listen. We're gonna head into Ludlow and grab some lunch here real quick, but we stopped off at the nearby State Forest and the site here is Buttermilk Falls, just off the road. We're hanging out nearby Ludlow, Vermont, and based on the advice of a local, it's the place you want to stop at. So I was up in the, uh, the green, green Mountains doing some hiking and some guys said stop by here for some tacos. That's really nice. I love the nachos, but the burrito is the most famous in here. The burritos, yeah. yeah. I got a big dinner planned at a friend's house in Madras. I definitely, I'm a burrito guy myself. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I, gotta, I gotta kind of save my appetite, you know? <laughs> yep. Beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you, sir. You enjoy your day. I haven't even had a bite yet, but I highly recommend Taco Tacos. Super great people inside. Yeah, I'm normally a burrito guy, but with a big dinner planned at my friend's house tonight, just a little something to tie me over here. Taco, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, that's good. That was worth the extra 16 miles getting here. This is another recommendation from the locals. This place is called Singletons, and I'm told this is the place to come if you want some jerky, and there's a lot of people at Singletons today. have another Vermont favorite right here. Always a favorite for America's Parks, ice cream, right? Maple cream.
creamy it's called. So it's maple soft serve ice cream. It's called the Sugar House. And I'm always fascinated by learning new things I've never experienced before. And one of those, if you're in this area, is Vermont maple syrup. And I was hoping they have a uh, actual working sugar house on the, uh, the property here where they could show you and give you a demonstration of how they actually make the maple syrup itself. And they do, but um, they don't give tours. But the lady upstairs said I could just walk in the downstairs area and just check it out for myself. How cool is that? Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. This is neat. Look at those big drums. 40 gallons of sap, I know, to make one gallon of maple syrup. Let me show you around. This one was made nice and easy for us. There's the ice bed trail head over there that we just did. Same parking lot. And right over here, our second and final trail in the White Rocks District. This is the Key Wading Trail. Let's go. Chilly out here, early October. And what is that thing on the side of the trail? Let's go check it out. Looks like some kind of small log cabin-ish type shelter. It's all boarded up. Interesting. So according to all trails, this is a 3.4 mile out and back hike. 1,233 feet elevation change. I want to thank all of you for hanging out with me here at America's Parks today. And this hike in particular will be the final hike of the season. Season number seven. In America's Parks, thank you so much for all of you that have traveled with me over the years. Not sure what next year holds, but trust there'll be some good visiting and traveling in the plans if the good Lord provides that for us. Appreciate all your comments too. I'm up to date. I've answered every comment that's come my way. Hope I can continue that. I always feel like if you take the time to write something, the least I could do is respond to that. It's been a good haul. Doing some more solo hikes lately. Look forward to taking my son as he gets older on more trips with me. And definitely look forward to spending time with my wonderful and beautiful wife as we grow older together and the children are moving out of the house that we could spend more quality and quantity time with each other that we really never had the opportunity to do so in the past. But a little nostalgic right now because this is, in a sense, the final hike of 2022. Thanks for joining me today. So after you leave a little spur trail from the parking lot, you actually get on the famous Appalachian Trail. So most of this trail is the Appalachian Trail. And then when you reach uh, the area not too far from the Overlook, you come across a Karen Garden. Look at that. Wow. Karens are good when they are made by the proper park officials as a way to designate the trails, but I've never read anything yet that uh, any kind of um, uh, official in the public uh, lands uh, would encourage the making of Karens. Actually, they discourage making Karens, but uh, this, is, uh, this is interesting. So the Appalachian Trail goes that way. And if you wanna go to the Overlook, you take a right at the Karen Garden.
be the beauty I behold All the days I'm here Be here to remind me Of all the goodness I know Be the heart that holds on tight Don't let me let it go I am just uh, breaking all the dietary rules on this trip and enjoying some of these amazing New England snacks. And why buy one? One you can get a whole dozen. A little something to munch on for the long trip back to New Jersey. Be here when the cold night falls. Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Well, thanks for joining us today in Vermont. Green Mountains National Forest, specifically White Rocks National Recreation Area. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. Hit that little red button. And remember, from all of us here at America's Parks, there's always room for you on every national park adventure. Time to get some dinner.